I'm Inspector Tang. You have quite a rap sheet here. Multiple arrests in San Francisco, alleged ties to organized crime, and now you're here, enforcing for the sun on Yi. You know, you don't have to throw your life away like this. <laughs> your concern's really moving. Yeah, I appreciate that. I'm suddenly realizing I should have never dropped out of art school. I could have made it. I could have been a real somebody. Thank you for showing me the light, officer. I want to give you a chance, Shen, but you have to work with me. Then maybe I can cut you a deal. Welcome back to another episode of Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. Today we take a look back at a retro review on Sleeping Dogs that was developed by now defunct United Front Games and released by Square Enix. Sleeping Dogs was released in 2012 to the PlayStation 3 Xbox 360 and the PC and then re-released again for the PlayStation 4 PC and the Xbox one Sleeping Dogs is an action adventure set in an open world environment You play as Wei Shen who is an undercover police officer against the Sun on Yi triad organization Wei Shen wants revenge for his sister's death as the son Nanyi was responsible for her being introduced to drugs and later dying because of it. The story spans across many missions, side quests, and traveling throughout Hong Kong. The gameplay itself has many different attributes that will have the character travel most of their time. You will have a lot of opportunities to drive many different types of vehicles as well as running or walking around. The action takes cues from Batman Arkham Asylum as you have a counter button that will automatically counter, reverse, and attack anyone who turns red, which means they are ready to attack at any time. This almost makes you invincible, especially when facing 5 to 10 attackers at once. The sound brings you into the world of organized crime to life. Nothing like listening to the hustle and bustle in Hong Kong. The sound, ambience, the language all mimic closely to what you would actually hear if you were actually there in Hong Kong. New country, with the hooks one deep. And once you start on that shit, it's hard to stop for anybody. Yeah, once you started. Oh man, and it was dog eyes that got her into it? Yep, fucking dog eyes. Uh, you gonna tell Winston? No, you? Shit, Wade, Winston's the boss, but when we were kids, you were the only person who was nice to me. You were my best friend, man. That means more than a boss, you know? The voice actors also give you a believable world of crime, and the cops feel the turmoil as you decide if you are a cop or a triad. Late. Conroy's still watching. He's got a real hard on. Is your cover compromised? Well, you haven't fished me out of the harbor yet. All right. How are you doing? How am I doing? Fuck, Raymond, where do I start? There's a civil war brewing in the sun on Yi. Winston and Dog Eyes escalated practically every day. Don't you read my fucking reports? I mean, you personally. How are you doing? Look, Raymond, I gotta get back. Your state of mind is important, Way. It's important to me, it's important to how you do your job. Fuck you. I do my job just fine. Well, that's for me to decide. You mean Pendrew. Pendrew assigned me as your controller. And listen, Way. Pendrew may not be concerned about you, but I am. I know you have a personal stake here. But this cannot be a vendetta. We're cops. There are rules. You're a cop. I'm an undercover cop. The rules are different. And you're fucking concerned about me? You are an officer of the law, Wayne. Same as me. We are not the same. You understand? We done? Yeah, we're done. The graphics also represent where you are very well. You will be immersed in this fictional crime drama thanks to the well-written story side quests, character development, and guilt for your character. The developers took painstaking time to help bring Hong Kong alive, and they really did a great job. I always have to remember on driving on the other side of the road, as this is how authentic the game is. The game does a good job on consoles, trying to keep the game at a, at a steady 30 frames per second, but can dip at times when there's more graphic intensive areas to a low 20 frames per second. The PC is worse in its optimization as it buckles when you at least expect it with even with superior hardware. It just isn't consistent on PC and I would recommend the consoles more on this one. From the acting, story, 
character development, action, and driving, Sleeping Dogs does a tremendous job on having you keep coming back for more. Too bad United Front is no more, and a sequel probably isn't in the foreseeable future, since this is a game that deserves one. Sleeping Dogs is one of my favorite open world games and gets a rating of 8.5 out of 10. This game should not be missed any way you can play it. Its only downfall is its performance at times as they really push this fictional crime presentation so hard it can buckle the system at times, especially on the PC. That's it for me on this episode of Beho Reviews. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here. Damn.